<clears throat> what is up guys and welcome back to the 14th episode of the hardcore let's play we're going to jump right into this episode today we're going to be working on an automatic tree farm just yesterday we finished up the uh, cobblestone farm automatic cobblestone farm it's going to be kind of similar to that in the way that it works we're going to have some pistons we're going to have some tnt duplicators blah 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 let's get started shall we um now this is actually a design that i designed myself um, there's only a few things that I've taken from other people, but, uh, it's probably definitely, I would not recommend you copying this design. There's definitely much better designs out there. However, I just didn't really feel like, uh, following a tutorial. So here we are. I designed my own farm and let's get started, shall we? guys as you can see the tree farm is working all right it's nothing amazing and I know there's definitely more efficient designs out there but you know we have a lot of bone meal and this is AF cable so you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it like this uh, I would like to figure out something about these leaves but it's whatever I guess anyways now we got the second part of the farm to worry about um, and that is gonna be the TNT exploding part which I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a um, instead of having it land on the top, like my initial idea was, I think we're going to have it like uh, land on an obsidian block somewhere like right here, I'm thinking. Let me just grab that real quick. Um, and we also we do want two because the TNT from the duper is kind of random. I think, I think right here is going to maximize... The amount of uh, TNT that we can get, uh, the amount of explodingness that we can get, so that's good. And then we're gonna have to build a collection area here. So was the TNT duper up there? So we still got some work to do, um, and let's get started, shall we?
Alright guys, it's been about an hour or so, maybe a little longer than that, but at first the farm wasn't really working, so this should be about, actually about half an hour. Okay. You know, I kind of was expecting more, because we did go through two stacks of saplings. Two stacks of saplings and we get like, wow, we only got five stacks of wood. That's like less than three wood per sapling, which is kind of bad. So, uh, but I think this is probably temporary and in the future we are going to build, you know, we'll use a design from like YouTube or something, one that's super efficient. Um, anyways, but for now we do have a working tree farm. The only problem is getting saplings is going to be kind of annoying. Um, and I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. But, that's something for the future. We have a decent amount of wood now, so we can work on some other, other projects. Um, so, let's get started on some of those, shall we? Alright guys, so one of the things that's been bothering me for quite a bit of time is how my nether tunnels are. As you can see, if I'm going from the Ocean Monument base back to the original village, all we have is this thing. It's not, it's definitely not the prettiest. And even worse is if we want to go over to the farming area. Oh, God. We have to actually stop here. And then it's a tunnel, if I can even find it. A tunnel over there. I think what I'm going to do right now is we're going to just set everything up. Oh, wow. That's a uh, shiny skeleton there. And he's got a knockback bow. Hmm interesting anyway so i think what we're going to do we're going to try and build not something too fancy pretty simple i think probably just like stone brick and maybe some cobblestone and maybe a tiny bit of wood um we're just going to make some tunnels to connect up these areas so sit back relax and watch me build some
All right, guys, so that's about this for this episode. Probably next episode, we're going to finish working on this. And I do also have a main project for next episode, so uh, keep on the lookout for that one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.